the year is 1947. The world is still reeling from the aftermath of World War II. Cities lie in ruins, economies are rebuilding, and a fragile peace hangs in the air. But beneath the surface, a new kind of conflict is beginning to take shape, one not fought with armies on battlefields, but with ideas, innovation, and speed. Chuck Yeager, a young test pilot with nerves of steel and a reputation for fearlessness, steps into history. He prepares to fly the Bell X-1, an experimental rocket-powered aircraft designed to do the impossible, break the sound barrier, a feat many believed would tear a plane apart. Dropped from the belly of a B-29 bomber, the Bell X-1 ignites like a missile. As it accelerates past Mach 1, a thunderous boom echoes across the desert sky. Jaeger has done it. He's broken the sound barrier. The world changes in an instant. Supersonic flight, once a theoretical dream, becomes a tangible reality. The age of high-speed aviation has officially begun. But even as Jaeger's name is etched into the annals of history, a deeper, more ominous race is already underway. The Cold War is beginning to crystallize, and with it, a technological arms race that will define the next half-century. The United States and the Soviet Union, two superpowers with opposing ideologies, recognize that speed is no longer just a scientific milestone. It's a weapon. In the New World Order, velocity equals dominance. The faster you can strike, the quicker you can gather intelligence, and the more effectively you can deter your enemy. The quest for hypersonic flight, speeds exceeding Mach 5, becomes the new holy grail. It's not just about flying fast, it's about rewriting the rules of warfare, surveillance, and global reach. Across both sides of the Iron Curtain, engineers and scientists work in secrecy and urgency. Laboratories buzz with activity. Drafting tables are filled with blueprints for aircraft that look more like science fiction than reality. They face monumental challenges extreme heat from air friction, structural stress at unimaginable speeds, and the need for materials that don't yet exist. But the pressure to succeed is immense. The stakes are nothing short of global supremacy. In a world where nuclear weapons and intercontinental missiles loom large, the ability to move faster than your adversary could mean the difference between survival and annihilation. Hypersonic flight promises more than just speed. It offers the power to outmaneuver defenses, to deliver payloads with pinpoint accuracy, and to gather intelligence in real time from anywhere on Earth. The future, it seemed, belonged to the swift. And in the crucible of the Cold War, speed wasn't just a goal, it was destiny. From the drawing boards of Lockheed's legendary Skunk Works division emerged a marvel of engineering, an aircraft so advanced it seemed to belong to another era entirely. Born from the intense pressures of the Cold War, the SR-71 Blackbird was more than a response to global tensions. It was a technological leap forward, a machine built to outpace danger itself. Crafted almost entirely from titanium to withstand the extreme heat of high-speed flight, the Blackbird's sleek dart-like silhouette seemed to defy the very laws of physics. When it first took to the skies in 1964, it did so under a veil of secrecy, hidden from the world it was designed to surveil. Capable of reaching speeds over Mach 3.3, more than three times the speed of sound, the SR-71 could simply outrun threats. Surface-to-air missiles, radar locks, and enemy interceptors were rendered obsolete in its wake. It wasn't armed with weapons, but with cameras and sensors. Its mission was to see everything to gather intelligence from 30 miles above the Earth and return before anyone even knew it was there. Pilots who flew the Blackbird spoke of it with reverence. Engineers who built it described it as a puzzle of impossible challenges. Together, they created a legend, one whispered in hangars and classrooms alike. But even legends have limits. The Blackbird, for all its speed and stealth, faced challenges that no aircraft had encountered before. Sustained hypersonic flight, Maintaining those blistering speeds for long durations remained just out of reach. The air itself became an adversary, pushing back with unimaginable force. The technological hurdles were staggering. Materials had to endure temperatures that could melt steel. Every component, from the skin to the sensors, had to be reimagined. Traditional jet engines, which rely on air-breathing propulsion, struggled to function at such extreme velocities. The Blackbird's engines were a hybrid marvel, part turbojet, part ramjet, designed to adapt mid-flight. At full speed, the aircraft's skin would heat up to over 600 degrees Fahrenheit, expanding so much that the Blackbird would leak fuel on the ground, only sealing tight once airborne and heated. Yet, despite these challenges, the SR-71 ignited imaginations. 
it proved that the impossible was merely a matter of engineering, vision, and willpower. It soared at the edge of space, a silent sentinel watching over the world. For decades, it remained unmatched, an icon of speed, stealth, and innovation. And though it was eventually retired, the Blackbird's legacy lives on. It planted the seeds of ambition in a new generation of engineers, dreamers, and scientists, those who now chase the next frontier of flight. The race for hypersonic travel continues. The SR-71 may have crossed the starting line, but the finish line, true, sustained hypersonic flight, still lies ahead, waiting to be claimed. Hypersonic flight, for all its allure and promise, presents a brutal gauntlet of engineering challenges that push the boundaries of physics, material science, and human ingenuity. The very act of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5 creates a violent storm of heat, pressure, and aerodynamic forces. At these velocities, air behaves differently, compressing into shock waves and generating intense friction against the aircraft's surface. These forces can tear apart even the most robust aircraft structures, causing materials to crack, warp, or disintegrate under the strain. Overcoming these obstacles has been the relentless focus of researchers and engineers for decades. At hypersonic speeds, the friction between the aircraft and the atmosphere generates temperatures that can soar above 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the surface of the sun. This intense heat can weaken or even melt traditional aircraft materials like aluminum, rendering them useless in such extreme conditions. To combat this, engineers are developing advanced materials, ceramic composites, carbon-carbon structures, and heat-resistant alloys that can endure these temperatures while remaining lightweight and structurally sound. These materials must not only survive the heat, but also maintain their integrity under rapid thermal expansion and contraction, a challenge that requires innovation at the molecular level. Propulsion is another formidable challenge. Conventional jet engines, which rely on compressing incoming air before combustion, become inefficient and unstable at hypersonic speeds. The air intake becomes a bottleneck, unable to provide enough oxygen to sustain combustion, and the engine risks stalling or overheating. To address this, engineers are turning to scramjets, supersonic combustion ramjets, which compress air at high speeds without moving parts, allowing combustion to occur while the vehicle is still traveling at hypersonic velocity. Scramjets represent a leap forward in propulsion technology, but they require precise conditions to ignite and sustain combustion, making them incredibly complex to design and test. Finally, controlling an aircraft at hypersonic speeds is akin to steering a rocket on the edge of a knife. The margin for error is razor thin. The aerodynamic forces are immense, and even the slightest deviation in trajectory or control surface movement can lead to catastrophic failure in a matter of seconds. To maintain stability, advanced flight control systems are essential, systems that can process data in real time, make lightning-fast adjustments, and adapt to rapidly changing conditions mid-flight. These systems often incorporate artificial intelligence and machine learning to predict and respond to anomalies faster than any human pilot could, ensuring the aircraft remains on course and intact. In the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, a new breed of aerospace company is challenging the established giants, fueled by audacious goals and a Silicon Valley ethos. Hermius, founded in 2018, is on a mission to make hypersonic travel a reality, not just for governments and militaries, but for the world. What sets Hermius apart is not just its ambition, but its approach. The company is taking a page from the tech industry's playbook, embracing rapid iteration, lean manufacturing, and cutting-edge software development. Their goal is to collapse the traditional timelines of aerospace development, moving from concept to prototype to flight testing at an unprecedented pace. Hermius isn't just building a faster plane, they're reimagining the entire air travel experience. Their vision is one where hypersonic flight connects distant cities in a fraction of the time, transforming business travel, logistics, and even our perception of global interconnectedness. Imagine boarding a plane in New York and arriving in London in just 90 minutes or reaching Tokyo from Los Angeles in under three hours. This is the future that Hermius is striving to create.